Hey guys, uh, Mikey Gita is back with another episode of Lesson today, guys. So, uh, for this video, so I'm going to show you uh, how you can improvise over your worship songs, okay, uh, to make it sound better. I know many of you have been asking me to do more video on the worship songs on the worship section, so I'm going to do some videos on the worship songs, okay. Uh, but if you know that this is the first time watching me, I would like you to hit on the subscribe button, okay, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss that. Anytime I upload a new video like this, okay. And if you want to join my uh, WhatsApp class, online WhatsApp class, you can chat me on the number on the screen there. I'm gonna reply to you as soon as possible, okay. So for this lesson, I'm gonna tell you two professional legs you're gonna use whatever you're on your worship section. That's gonna sound better, okay. So uh, let me use this song to play the song for you, okay. The covenant keeping God. solo you know when it comes to soloing soloing uh, when it comes to worship songs okay there, there are a whole lot of ways you can play your worship songs to sound better okay uh, when you over your maybe you want a uh, high uh, distortion or uh, a process okay improvisation maybe for those of you that use distortion to play uh, you can play stuff like um, Stuff like that. Okay, so that song I was playing was in the key of B flat, and this is the key of B flat. Okay, this is the key of B flat on the second string. Okay. The B flat. So the progression of that song is just a. You are the covenant keeping God. The covenant keeping God. The covenant keeping God. Okay, you got the. 
la do 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 so the song that I play instead of the the major chord I play I play a sus two chord you can still play it on this shape Okay, uh, that is the progression of the song. So in that case, you can you, you can use stuff like um, if you don't want to solo over the uh, the chord progression, you can play. So what I'm playing there is a T do. So, do so on this shape now, okay? Ti do so, di, ti do so, and the first string. Okay, then you, I, I, I played on another interval here. Yeah. I played the same thing I played here. Yeah, I played here, yeah, but this time around I played on the mi fa do. You know, this is another octave. Okay, this is another octave or interval for the key of uh, B, B flat or A sharp. Okay. Okay. So you can play Mi Fa Do, Mi Fa Do. Okay. Mi Fa Do, Mi Fa Do. Then you got this shape. On this shape, you can play. Then I play something like uh, Just be playing like that Okay, another octave Okay, then I play something like this So now I play like So me, so la You gotta, you gotta play kind of a pull on, okay? Make your pull on, okay? Okay, I play the same shape and another octave with the third and the fourth string, okay? Okay, so um, with this, you're gonna have a good uh, improvisation over your worship song, over your worship section. Okay guys, so uh, wherever you don't understand, here on the comment section, I'm going to give you the reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.